Amy is now going to come and share her testimony. This is the story of the Son of God Hanging on a cross for me But it ends with a bride and groom In a wedding by a glassy sea Oh death where is your sting Cause I'll be there singing of the song that has just been played and shown above means a lot to me because it states what Christ has done for me. He left his throne in heaven to be born human down here on earth. He lived a pure, sinless life and then he died on a cross to save us from eternal hell. The price for sin is death, but Christ's death on the cross paid the penalty for all my sins. And because Christ rose from the dead, he conquered death and gave me life. You would have heard in the song that the story ends with a bride and a groom, and you may be wondering how that fits into my testimony. Well, in Ephesians 5, we read how the imagery of marriage is applied to Christ and the body of believers known as the church. These are those who have trusted in Jesus Christ as their personal savior and received eternal life. This is what I have done, but I have only been able to do this because of Christ enabled me to do this. Without his mercy and grace, I could have done nothing to save myself. Isn't it amazing how a holy God can love such sinful people like us? And by his death and resurrection, we are made holy and without fault. <clears throat> I have grown up in a Christian home and can't give you a specific date or time that I became a Christian. I'd always been exposed to the Bible and church and I had a decent amount of head knowledge, but no heart knowledge. But I do remember one midnight madness night a number of years ago when there was a video playing in the hall and it explained the whole gospel message and it really shocked me because before then I always just thought that I would go to heaven. I knew that I was sinful but I always thought that God had forgiven me and I never thought to repent because I didn't really understand what it meant to do that. The night it really worried me that I didn't fully understand what it meant and it sparked something in me that made me want to understand. I guess it was the start of my journey. So how does this impact my day-to-day -day life? I guess I live my life differently compared to if I wasn't a Christian. I think differently, I act differently. It impacts on my decisions in my day-to-day -day life, what to wear, what to watch, what to do, what to like and what to dislike, what to expose myself to. I'd like to share Christ's message with others with my life and words and live the best life I can according to God and what he'd want me to do with his strength in me. All in all, I stand here today really grateful that Christ loved me so much that he died for me. We've heard this, this wonderful testimony from uh, Amy and Amy on the profession of your faith in the Lord Jesus Christ as your Lord and Saviour. I now baptise you in the name of the Father, the Son and the Holy Spirit. <laughs> Amy's dad is going to come and... Uh, uh, pray for Amy and share something with her. Let's pray. Heavenly Father, we give you thanks today for choosing Amy and allowing her to believe and trust in your work on the cross. Thank you, Father, for giving us Amy as our daughter. She is a joy and a blessing to Lisa and I. I pray that you will continue to guide her path and to help her share her faith with others as you have commanded us to do in the book of Matthew, chapter 28, verse 18 to 20. Lisa and I are eternally grateful for the work you have done in Amy's life. Thank you, Father. <clears throat> 